Uh, I'll try to avoid asking most of the questions that you already answered in your news conference, but having heard all of that, do you have any regrets? Do you, do you regret perhaps not making a decision on a bubble back at the beginning of December, or do you regret starting the tournament now that you've had to finish it? Mm. No, I don't re regret to start the, the, the tournament. But um, really, um, to come back on the bubble, so we had a lot of discussion also with the teams, you know, that was too hard. And we did uh, the experimentation in the World Championship in Latvia, and it works. Uh, so, uh, I mean, we were confident about to start the competition, but I think the Omicron variant uh, changed uh, the everything. Like um, I used to say, I remember when the 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 players came on the March 15 in the uh, uh, protected environment, not bubble, huh? protected environment. So uh, I was uh, at the same time I was watching NHL and they had just uh, eight game cancel at that moment. On the 23rd, when we took the decision for the woman uh, under 18. Mm -hmm. Uh, that was, uh, I think, that was 67. So it, that it moved fast. Yeah, and uh, we everybody were a little bit surprised. And when we did the adaptation of, of the Macron, that was a little bit too late. And um, the regret, yes, because to uh, stop in a competition like that in the middle, that's the first time I'm doing. I hope that it will be the last time. <laughs> uh, and. and uh, and uh, also the, the impact, Every, everybody was happy to come back here with uh, a crowd. <laughs> that was not completely the crowd we expected because closely they changed, uh, the, the government changed the rule about the judge, but there was still people in the stands. Mm -hmm. But to stop like that, we didn't have any other choice because uh, first of all, what guide us, that's the safety of the player. And after that, we saw that it will be difficult to uh, uh, bring to the end a fair competition. When I say fair competition, so sometimes you have a case, you have a quarantine, and we have to change the schedule. That was not possible. Were, were you more that. worried that you might have been able to go on with only four cases for another day or two, but were you? did you do it now because you were concerned it would be more embarrassing and worse if you had to do it, say, around the quarterfinals or something? Uh, a, a lot of things because we talk about the player, but we had the case in the referee. Mm -hmm. So that multiple means, cases? Uh, yeah, no, two. Two. Uh, and we split two group to make sure that some were available if there right. is a quarantine, and both was touched. And uh, and today everything arrived, and we saw every day some other case coming. And uh, outside of that, you know, uh, we, we're talking about safety of the player, but at the moment. That was the critic, uh, critic uh, path right. because we didn't want at the end of the tournament to leave some player in a quarantine here when their team are going back. That's one of the reasons we, we, uh, we also stopped the competition. That plus and plus and plus. But after that, we saw that uh, for the, to have a forfeit in the quarterfinal or semifinal, that was not possible. I prefer that we stop, and I think we took the the, the wrong, the, the right decision, and uh, we're not gonna give up. So that means uh, we give us a month, try to see exactly because uh, I would like to to not to finish, but to prepare properly another edition 2022 with the player who deserve it because that's an important moment in their career and I think the fans even if they love they love when that's Christmas time I know that uh, that's uh, everybody's waiting for that maybe that was uh, that was not going to be in Christmas but I think that's important to to bring this competition at the place she deserves. Okay, Luke, you said give us a month and you'll see if there's a way to get the World Juniors done in June or July. Could you put a percentage on the chances of that tournament being played? Is it 50-50? Is it better than 50-50? Yeah, that's a difficult question because, uh, you know, today when we had the crisis uh, meeting this yes. morning, we didn't expect to stop. Because we had two bad news mm -hmm. right after, and we had to change the schedule, and we we were in front of the reality. So now you ask me uh, uh, for the future, right. when and how many chances. So 
We just, uh, but we want to do it, and it will, and we will do it. You, right? you were asked, you were asked in the um, in the news conference about the dollar value of the of, of what the World Junior Championship means to the IIHF, and, and Scott was asked vis-a-vis -vis Hockey Canada, and I and I and I understand why nobody wants to quote any specific figures, but can can we just get it on the table that this tournament, the World Junior Tournament, is amongst what? the top two or three most important financial ventures for the IIHF each year? The third one, because we got the Olympic game. Right. After that, we got our World, World Championships. Championships. And after that, that's uh, the junior. But uh, we we don't consider that's, uh, that, yes, that, that there is, uh, uh, it give us uh, money for the development, but uh, I'm not going to say that's, uh, the, that's not the most important thing. Uh, world Championship and, and Olympic game. Yes. We, if we don't have that, we're going to die. That's important. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, for the World Championship, that's important also. Every dollars are, are important. Right. But uh, we, when we want to, uh, when I say we, we, we don't want to give up and we don't come back, that's not a question of money. That's a question of finish this tournament and play the, the 2022 edition. So uh, I'm I'm new president. I don't want yeah. to uh, to stay on that. Did Rennie give you a nice Christmas present this oh, year? Oh yeah, the, the, <laughs> <laughs> I think this year with the pandemic, with all the the, the tournament we have to cancel. I, I don't know if it's the rookie test, uh, <laughs> but uh, I believe we uh, we're gonna go through. And uh, I'm optimistic. Are, about are you confident that the women's world under 18 will be played at some point somewhere? Yes, uh, uh, you know, we had to cancel. Uh, I, I just uh, to explain that. I just want to come back to the World Women Championship we had to cancel yes. uh, last year. Uh, that was at the last moment. That was not uh, a fact of Hockey Canada. It was not it was a Nova fact. Scotia. Uh, the government decided to to stop. And uh, I remember we had the Japanese, the the Japan girl. They were in the plane. They had to get up. The the, the Russian. They were halfway. They stopped in Helsinki. They have to go back. And all the organization was there. That was tough. Everybody jump on us. Uh, we have to organize for the woman. That's uh, the, that's a scandal. And we took a month. We with we work with uh, Hockey Canada, and we made this competition in August. For the, the cancellation of under 18, we will do the same thing. But there is one thing I want to make sure that everybody understand. Everybody's talking about oh, uh, e equality between men and, and women. First, COVID doesn't know the, the, the gender. It doesn't know. They hit in January. That's, uh, but that's not only one tournament who was canceled. Six. That's six. And believe me, sometimes I want that the top level, they understand that they talk about the future of uh, uh, ice hockey and uh, the future, that's high level, but that's the development too. So we're going to bring, we're going to find a way. We already start to discuss with the organizer. We're going to find a way, but not only for the top level. It will be all together or nothing. So that's important. I, I, can, but I can tell you've been stung by the criticism, particularly over the cancellation of the women's U18s. But I, I think sometimes the feeling is that when you say give us a month, it's reactive. You cancel and then there's an outcry and you say, OK, we'll, we'll look into this instead of just saying right from the beginning, we will find a way to make this tournament happen. And I think in, in this particular circumstance, all people want is an assurance that the same effort will go into rescheduling the women's U18s, all the tournaments that you talked about, as will go into rescheduling the World Juniors. Yeah. Uh, like uh, I noticed when you said cancellation, mm -hmm. people... I want to be involved to find a solution. Right. When you say uh, postpone, they're looking at you. I don't need spectator. I need actor. I'm not going to bring back this tournament alone. All they, they will have to do something with me. So you use that language purposefully thinking that you will get more help in rescheduling events when you I use that. more and, help. And plus, isn't it because the IIHF itself doesn't run all these tournaments? Hey, the, we, we, the, the federations run them for the double IHF and so by canceling it you're putting the onus on somebody to say we well the, in, in Sweden they said we cannot do the under 18 women's worlds 
So you say it's canceled, and now if somebody else wants to step up and make a proposal, then... Yeah. And like last year, Hockey Canada said, with us, we will do it. Uh, um, when I, you know, I, I listen to the criticize, but mm -hmm. when you're president, you have to listen, and you, you, uh, that's a tough place. Huh? And you not only give uh, uh, medals on all those things, but uh, I, um, I remember uh, quickly, USA Hockey said, "Yes, we require to uh, p uh, change the decision." I challenge USA Hockey. Uh, help us do your job like uh, Hockey Canada did. Mm -hmm. uh, well, they in, did. In they it. did it for the under 18 men in Texas. No, that was supposed to be there. there and they, they changed. That's right. something else. Right. That's the woman. Eh? Right. So that means uh, 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 I'm. So they will take care uh, because I need them to really get involved in this uh, championship. And after that, the IHF, we're going to work with all the others to to bring to do. But we cannot do that alone. So uh, so the, the people should get involved. Are you worried about the integrity of a summer World Juniors, where it sounds great that you've given hope that this event could be rescheduled, but what happened in, in July, you have players, 19-year-olds, that are headed towards the NHL. Maybe NHL clubs don't want them to participate. Is it feasible to, to have a true best-on-best -best U20 in that situation? Uh, I mean, uh, we 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 uh, already test, uh, and in June, uh, the, after this tra training camp starting, right. it can be possible. It can be possible. So, what do you mean? What do you mean after training camp starting? Sorry. No, no. I, a little bit later in July, August, the training camp start, and uh, right. that's a little bit difficult. But if we closely, uh, quickly. Decide that will be in June, mm -hmm. and uh, and where is it, and how uh, how to get there, and, uh, and would it be in Canada? I think uh, it, it it should be in Canada. Why? Because uh, that's the year of Canada, and uh, so they deserve the organization uh, of uh, of the tournament. Would you be okay going up against the Stanley Cup final, which would be a possibility at some time in June, maybe? Anything to get the tournament on? Yesterday, I didn't know I had to. Uh, Reorganize a, a, a junior hockey, and now you. Uh, you I didn't check the schedule, <laughs> right. but uh, what I, what that's I what want you need say, the month for. Yeah, yeah. What I want to say is, um, uh, you know, when I when that's arrived under under 18, you have to judge me at the end, the story. Mm -hmm. So if at the end of the story I didn't do it, I can accept criticize. Well, that's the, that's the one issue with this, is if you find that this is logistically impossible to do a women's U18s or uh, a men's World Juniors, then there will be more criticism. So be it. Yeah. <laughs> well, we appreciate... I we take know, the challenge. Yeah. We know this has been a really difficult day uh, for the IIHF, for all of us, so uh, appreciate you coming on and chatting with us. Thanks. That was a pleasure. That yeah. is Luke Tardif, who is the president of the IIHF.